Hello, my name is Jeff. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, we're going to go through how to copy an Excel file from one Excel file to another and actually update that file on a regular or manual basis using Power Automate. This is going to be a quick video. We're going to use these screenshots here and walk you through every single test step that has been tested. So when you get done, this will work in your environment. So stay tuned. Let's jump right to it. So the first thing we want to do is go into um, our home button. We want to pull up Power Automate. You see it right there. Pull it up and it's going to pull you right in here and you're going to see this manual trigger. So that's kind of where we are here. We went ahead and did the manual trigger. Now we hit create, right? Create instant cloud. And then uh, feel free to do screenshots of this, by the way, if you, if you like create the flow name, manual trigger, hit create, and then we're right there with add an action. And so the first action we're gonna do is get file content. So to do that, we're gonna click on here. Now you won't see this, yours will look like this actually, but because I've pre-populated it, so it goes a little faster for us, you're gonna just hit add action, okay? And then when you hit add action, remember we're looking for get file content using. So we're just gonna, Type that in now, right there. Get file content. And this is the only time I'm going to go through this actually finding something, but I want to make you aware of what you're looking for. Remember, get file content using path, which is what we want. See it right there? We want the one from OneDrive. Notice the icon is blue, SharePoint is green, uh, AI Builder, Dataverse, they all have Dataverse is green. They, they all have their different logos. So make sure when you're working with OneDrive, you work with OneDrive through the entire flow or SharePoint or whatever. Today, we're gonna to talk about OneDrive, okay? So we did that, we, we loaded this action and we're gonna we're gonna go down to where the folder is. So we're gonna click on here. This would have been empty. We don't click here on root, click on the arrow right there. We go down, we find the file that we want, right? It happens to be in here. We're gonna click on that right arrow again, and now it's gonna list for us our files, and then we select our files. In this case, we selected Disney. Easy enough. And then that's all you do. We're gonna add another action here. The next action that we're gonna add, so let's go down through here. Next action we're gonna do is list rows. And why? Because we wanna list the rows that are present within the table. So list rows, remember you're gonna select Excel, just look for the icon, okay? List rows, and then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna do a drop down, OneDrive. OneDrive, you're gonna select, you're gonna click on here, to OneDrive. You're gonna look for the file again. <clears throat> remember the folder, the right arrow, and you're gonna select the source file. So here it is right here. Pretty simple, select there, then we select OneDrive, then we select the folder. Again, we're gonna do it the same way we did last time, and then we're gonna select table one. Pretty easy. Now you have other options here if you're not gonna go into filters and things like that, but here what we're doing is we're listing all of the rows of the spreadsheet right here called Disney, okay? And we're using a file path to do that, pretty easy. Last step, we don't have to worry about the for each loop. It's gonna come in for us automatically, but we're gonna search and look for update a row. And so let's get there on the spreadsheet. Remember, Disney is the source. This is the source so far that we're working on. Now we're going with this update a row, we're going to um, pull from wherever the change is occurring, right? I'm sorry, we're gonna pull from the source, which is Disney, and we're gonna dump it to the target, which happens to be Disney Backup. So we're gonna list the rows. Again, we're gonna list all the rows out. We're gonna select OneDrive, update a row, right? OneDrive, OneDrive, OneDrive. And now we're gonna select the target, which happens to be Disney Backup. So we'll just select the target, the table, and then we'll stop here and I'll show you where we're at. So let's go ahead and go back in here. So here we're in update a row. We have all this, we selected, remember this is the target right here. Disney backup is the target. Here, we're, and we selected them all, right? Table, blah, blah, blah. Remember a table, if you have a spreadsheet and you don't see table one come up, it means it hasn't been converted to a table. Highlight over the cells, 
that you want. And there's this thing that says like make a table or create a table or something to write in Excel. Just click on it. It's pretty easy. I'll show you when we're in looking at the data. Here, we're going to select an ID. Now, this is an ID. It's a column in our spreadsheet. I'm going to show it to you in a moment, but it's a column in the spreadsheet, and it's giving us a unique identifier for this spreadsheet. Remember, if we're updating from one Excel to another, we have to have some unique string that ties those rows together. And in this case, it's ID. You can see it right there. Now, to get this value right here, we're going to click on here. This won't be here, so I'll do that. So you'd be just like this. You click on this and then you select ID. Remember list rows in present table. Remember that is this right here. So we're pulling from what it found here and we're saying, give me the ID and we'll just select ID. And then you do the same thing with all of these. Remember the lightning and you fill them all in. Pretty simple. Finish that up and we'll go back over to the list, to the document. So here you have all the values. You're good to go. Take screenshots as you need. We're listing the table. We did that. We did this. We matched these up, right? So they all look like this, basically. One, two, and three. And then this for each, like we talked about, will load automatically because it's, it's cycling through. As soon as you select the first one, the loop will come on there because it wants to go through every single row, okay? Now we're just going to hit save. I close the pilot here, hit save, hit test hit manual, and you may be prompted to validate your credentials. Great, just hit continue, and then run the flow. That's about it. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in the real world. So here, we're just gonna hit save. I've already closed my other thing. I'm just gonna hit save. What we're looking for here is a green banner along the top. Just looking for a green banner that says, you're good, it's saved. We're good, <laughs> it's saved, okay. Now you're gonna hit test. We're gonna hit manual here and we're going to run test. Okay, now, if you remember when we first looked at this, I want to show this to you real quick. Disney Backup is um, has just Pluto with nothing behind it. And remember when I told you about creating a table, you just kind of do that, highlight it, and hit Format as Table. Okay, so remember, Pluto, no text behind it. Now, when we look at Disney, this is our source. Notice it says Test 2. Let's just go ahead and change that to Test Okay, and we went ahead and saved that. So theoretically, once we run this, we should see test three over in our backup file. So let's see if it works. Hit run. They don't always work every single time, but uh, this is a good experience. So I hit done. It's running. See, notice that you have the check mark. Now, notice that it's running through. It clicked. Everything's fine. This is your troubleshooting section. You can go through here. I'm not going to go into this in this video, but you can see everything that's occurring uh, within this uh, raw, raw outputs or raw inputs. So see other videos I have on this, but we're good to go. Everything's green. Let's go ahead and take a look at that spreadsheet. Disney backup. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's give it just a second to kind of load up. Notice it's still loading. And come on, where are you? There you are. Okay, test three. So it takes a little while, so you have to be patient. And if it's a longer spreadsheet, it's gonna take a little longer. But you can see here, it worked. So good job. So go ahead and give this a shot. This is a very, very simple power out, excuse me, power automate flow that you can do. And it'll save you a ton of time updating uh, between spreadsheets. So you could have a master spreadsheet with missing information. You could send that missing information out to people to update, then click a button and it'll automatically update. Good luck.